Hey, what's going on, everybody? As you can see, there's this image that is besides me here, and I guess this guy's name is Billy Porter, and he was invited onto Sesame Street. He dresses up. He's a grown man, as you can see, but he dresses as a woman, and he wanted to go onto Sesame Street on PBS, on national TV, and just share with your children that it's okay to be a grown man dressing as a woman, wearing makeup and dresses and all this other stuff, essentially just indoctrinating your kids with this is the cool thing and you should do it too. Now before I even get deeper into this video, I want to say I have no issue with anybody who is gay, anybody who is transgender, anybody who is a part of this LGBTQ movement. I have no issue with you. I'm going to tell you what God says, and I'm going to do what God says to do. But my issue is that when you go beyond doing what you want to do, and you, then you go and tell everybody in the masses that they should do exactly what you are doing. That is absolutely wrong. You want to know where this movement started? It originated from hell. And now that just stepped on some toes. But let me break it down to you so that you can catch this. Pride, that is the movement of LGBTQ. Where did that originate? Pride originated from Satan himself. Why? Because he saw God. He saw his standard. He saw him in all of his glory. And he said, I want to be exactly like him. And boom, he fell because of pride. He says, I don't want to worship God. I want to be my own God. And that's exactly what pride is. And that same spirit of pride that got Satan kicked out of heaven wants to kick you out of heaven. It wants to bring you to the, to the depths of the bottomless pit of hell and have you separated from God for all of eternity. That's what pride does. It's per and then pride brings in perversion. You want to see what happens in this movement. They take things that were God's covenants and perverts the purity of what God had said and what God had did. You look at marriage. Marriage is a covenant between man and woman and with the Lord, with God. It's a covenant. But the enemy took that covenant and he perverted it. He said, you can go ahead and a man and a man, woman and a woman. That perversion has gotten so bad that people are literally marrying animals. They're marrying their couches. They're having sex with cars. This is true, factual information. This is how far gone as a society we have gotten. That we have literally just said, forget God's word. Forget any standard. I'm going to live in pride and perversion and I don't care. I don't care what anybody has to say. But God says that is going to lead you to a life that you've never were called or created to live. And then it's going to be an eternal consequences are going to come forward. You also look at the rainbow, another part of this movement. The rainbow was a covenant between God and man and the earth that he would never flood the earth again. It was purity. It was a rainbow. It's beautiful. You see it in the sky after every time it rains almost. They took what was so pure in a rainbow and they took it and said, now that's going to stand for a man having sex with a man and a woman and a woman, whatever else that they're saying now. They took the purity of what God said and established and they perverted it. The rainbow, marriage, purity, they, they tried to make purity perverted and that's exactly what they're doing in this Sesame Street and they're doing it all throughout the media and the news and the entertainment and the music. So as Christians, we need to rise up. Who is going to be a Christian that has a backbone that is going to say, devil, I'm evicting you out of my house. I'm evicting you out of my schools. I'm evicting you off of my TV, off of my social media, off of my cell phone, off of my family, off of my community. I'm going to stand up for the word of God, even if it makes me look like a fool, because I know that one day I'm going to stand before God and he's going to say, who did you bow to while you were on this earth? Did you bow to me or did you bow to LGBTQ or did you bow to the world or did you bow to me? And I'm going to say, Lord, I chose to bow to you. So guys, be encouraged. Share this video. I love you all. Be blessed in Jesus' name.